What's going on? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Ashley, this is Grayson, and we've been traveling full time for almost four years in all different kinds of RVs. And today we're super excited because we're going to be giving you a tour of our new setup, which is a 2019 Ford F450 and a 2024 Sears A20 truck camper. We are super excited to give you a tour, but we're also super excited to talk about our ambassadorship with New Camp. We are the 2024 New Camp Sears truck camper ambassadors, and we are so excited to be representing the brand. They do have a tab line with different ambassadors on that side, but we are the first truck camper ambassadors or Sears line ambassadors, and we're so stoked about it. When we went to Alaska last year, for those of you who haven't been following along or are new here, we went up to Alaska last year and we did partner with New Camp on some content and just partner with them in general. And they loved working with us, we loved working with them. So when this opportunity came about to partner with them again, we were like, hey, this is a no brainer. We'd love to be ambassadors. And they were like, we'd love you to be ambassadors. Their values align with ours and they have four core values that really resonate with us, which are work hard, care genuinely, service over self and do the right thing. And those are things we try and strive to do every single day. But enough of us talking about that. I know you guys are all here to <laughs> see our new rig. Let's show you around. Let's start out with the exterior of our truck camper setup. This is a 2019 F450. It is the XL model, so it has rubber floors, pleather seats, and the small screen, and a lot less technology than those higher trim packages, but that's perfect for us on the road. With less technology, means less things breaking, so it just makes sense for us. And this also is a 60CA, so it houses a nine and a half foot bed on the back. Super, super awesome. It's got a pretty high payload of around 9,000 pounds and it has a GVWR rating of 16,500 pounds, which is a huge upgrade from our 2019 F250. And that's just a little bit about the truck. Let's get into some of the modifications we've made. So small little modifications we've made are things like this little antenna. It was like super tall before. This looks a lot better. It's not really something you need to do, but it's just something I felt like I wanted to do because I didn't do it on our last truck. Another thing we changed were the mirrors. These actually did not work when we first got them. They're manual, which makes sense. You kind of just pull them out because it's the XL model, but the actual mirror did not move with the motor. These work perfectly. Let's get into the suspension and the tires and the wheel setup we went with here. So this is a Stazwerk 20 inch wheel on a Toyo AT3 tire. And it's a super great size. It almost looks like a 35. I think it's a hair below. It's a 295, 65, 20. So it's got a super high weight rating. And then we also have a three and a half inch Wicked Customs leveling kit. And so the coil is what levels the truck and it's got the cool little W that they do. And then we have 2.0 Fox reservoirs all the way around. And so it's safe to say that this truck drives like an absolute dream, even with the camper and the heavier bed on the back. It drives much better than any other truck camper setup or any other camper setup we've ever had. Let's start on the driver's side of the truck and give you a little overview of that XL interior. Don't be too shocked, but it matches the exact same interior colors that we had in our F250, but it's got those rubber floors, pleather seats, and very little technology, so nothing really exciting to show you. And to make that ding go away, we need to close that door. And I will actually show you the back seat, which we're super excited about. It looks very similar to our F-250, how we had it set up, set up at first. So we have the seats removed. We have a wood burning stove. We have the dog's bed for storage, or it allows it to elevate the bed and create more storage. And so we have tools and a lot of other cool little storage systems that we put into place here. And that just makes our truck work a lot better for us storage wise. And what's cool about having the nine and a half foot bed is that we have plans for this area where the truck camper is not filling, filling it in. But for now, we do have these undermount boxes that do lock. The front ones are about three feet long, about, I don't know, a foot wide and 10 inches deep. That's pretty accurate measurements. And then we do have a smaller one back here as well. And so we keep things like leveling blocks, more tools, and just other things that we don't necessarily want in the truck or in the camper cluttering our space. We put it out here. A big problem we had in our 2019 F-250 in that truck camper setup was just things getting in the way too often because we didn't have a place to put it. But now everything's got a place. And then when we're done with what we're doing with this truck, everything will definitely have a place. But this truck camper is fully solar. And so what's cool about that is we removed the propane tanks. And where I'm getting at with this is now we have a free storage bin here. And so this free storage bin could have been used for anything, you know, extra batteries, camp gear, but we, we decided to use it for something a little bit different. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you, it's a shocker. And it might shock me because I know it's full, but it's our laundry bin. And nothing fell out. And nothing fell out. Usually it just kind of all falls on you or a couple pieces. 
And so we used it for a laundry bin now. What makes sense is now that we have our laundry bins in this little compartment here, we pull them out, go to the laundry mat, pull it all out. We're yet to test it, but we're excited to test it as we get back on the road because we just think it makes sense to not have all the laundry inside. And so there are three more compartments here. The top one, just to give you guys a little insight as to what we have stored where, we've got another cooler, a, and I say another one because we have another one I gotta show you. We have our camp chairs, um, some buckets that I use for like oil changes and all that, an extra fan, and that's basically it. What's cool about these is they have motion activated lights. So you'll see this bottom one, it's on, and you saw the light turned on, that's pretty cool. Here we have our 30 amp cable. It's perfect for hooking up whenever you go to a campground, harvest host, a generator, anywhere. We also have a hammock back there and then some adapters as well for campsites. So we have like the 50 amp, the 30 to 50 amp, the 30 to 15 amp. And then the bottom is where our Nautilus system is. This is how you fill, dump, do all the good stuff, uh, winterize, all that kind of stuff. And then if I bring you around the back, we have our Ryko Titan jacks all the way around, love them. They were on our other camper. The steps are a little bit different on this rig. We have torque lift um, steps on the other one, but I've actually been wanting these kind of stairs for a while. They're Lippert and they're super nice because they allow you to kind of just throw your steps down anywhere you are. You don't need like a level surface to like pull it out. Super cool. This is a fun one. We had tools in this area on our last rig. It's a shoe storage. So we put our, all of our shoes, yeah, it's a mess. We're gonna add a shelf and make it look all nice. Those are just future plans. But what's nice is our shoes are outside, so no more stinky shoes and dirty shoes inside. And the shoes we are wearing, we kind of just throw under the step over here by the door. Let's come around this side. We have another storage bin. Just a bunch of miscellaneous tools. This one does have that light as well, but I don't have it on. No, I do. And this is also where you control your awnings on both sides of the camper. There's an awning on this side of the camper and there's an awning on the back side of the camper. Super awesome, the carefree awnings. I'm pretty sure they're the Freedom Freestyles if you need to know more about them. We have two more of those storage boxes. Super awesome. What we decided to do for our tie down system is a 18,000 pound rated like steak pocket D-ring and it ties down to our short torque lift fast guns. And so these are super cool, super awesome, easy to set up, super high quality. And we just love the look of the black with the black, it just matches really well. And you can see, I'm getting a little sidetracked here, but we also did keep the dually wheels. A lot of people go to super singles when they get these 450s, but Stazworks makes a great dually wheel. Um, and yeah, it's, it's actually a game changer. I don't really want to get into comparing and contrasting because that's gonna be another video. But driving a dually with a truck camper, I don't know why we didn't do this sooner. I mean, it's a no-brainer. But let's get into the back seat on this side. This looks crazy, but we have extra tools down there that actually level our Bouge RV Rocky 50. And then we have our Bouge RV Rocky 50 on top. And yeah, it creates a lot of storage, creates a whole nother frigid freezer. We have it set as a freezer right now because we are leaving town here to make a jump up to one of our favorite states ever. So we're gonna fill this up with some meat here in Texas because it's a lot cheaper here than it is where we're going. And this is also where we keep paddle boards. We've got two rock eye sups, so inflatable paddle boards. This is where we keep them. We keep the dog's food here, paddles there. It just makes sense having everything stored like this because Oreo actually does love sitting on that too. So it's basically the entire back seat is a dog bed. And then to bring you back to the passenger front, this is actually Ashley's passenger princess spot. Look how clean my spot is. And her spot is super clean. This is how she keeps it. Um, we actually get new addition. Let me go back to the back seat. Super off topic, but we have this thing here and it's going to be our new trash can. Thank you to my brother-in-law. He gave it to us. He used to be a big Jeep Overland guy and he had this in his garage. He's like, you guys need that. And we're like, thanks. But that's basically the exterior. I can go on the roof and show you guys real quick what we're looking like up there. This rig does have 600 amp hours of Battleborn lithium and it's super awesome. That's 200 more amp hours than our other camper. It only has 370 watts of solar. And so we're gonna do some DC to DC charging and all that to really get the batteries always up to capacity. But there may be some upgrades in the future, we're not sure. But let me show you those roof panels, show you what that looks like. They're all flexible, so it's super cool to see. And it has a nice big Dometic AC unit on the roof that keeps this rig super cold. But once I show you all that, we're gonna have Ashley show you the inside. This is what our solar on the roof looks like. You got one panel that's super long, one that's a little bit bigger up there. 
There's the pneumatic AC. This is our inflatable kayak that we use it's for whitewater rafting. And this is a pneumatic vent fan. Super awesome, super efficient, all of this. But let's show you the inside. I think Grayson did a great job explaining the exterior. He definitely knows a lot more about the truck and a lot more about that kind of stuff than I do. But I do know about the inside of the camper. So let's go ahead and come inside. And let's first start off with this door. I literally love this door. The first thing I love about it is this window here. It's this long window. So you can see if anyone's outside or you could just see your views from the back door, which is really nice. And then there is one, two different places for storage. We've been storing our extra grocery bags for trash bags and that kind of stuff. And then this is a trash bin. I believe that's what it's supposed to be for. We haven't used it for trash yet. There's nothing in here, but it is nice to have. And then a fire extinguisher right by the front door is nice. You got the lock open, easy, but this door is a game changer. We love it. Come inside. I'll let you squeeze past me and we'll start with the front. So right when you walk in to my left is our closet. It's exactly the same size closet and everything as our old camper. Also has the motion lights in here. So the second you open it up, the lights come on, which is great. We love it. We have a lot of hanging clothes in here, probably more than we should, but we did narrow it down a little bit and there's still a lot. We could probably narrow it down more. And then this is kind of just like my skincare, random different stuff in this bin here, which makes it just easy. I can take out the whole bin when I need it or the stuff I use the most is right on the top. So makes it even easier. So that is that. And then let's go into the bathroom. So it is a wet bath. Most truck campers have a wet bath. The 920, which is the bigger one, doesn't, and it's really cool. But this bathroom just feels very big and very open. It has a mirror here that also opens up, and it's a medicine cabinet. We added these storage things, the exact same ones that we had on our old truck camper, because it just allows for more space and to be able to put more things. We also love that they put this little toothbrush holder, so now we can just have our toothbrushes in here. They've never fallen, never gone anywhere. And then this is the sink. It's definitely different than our other sink, but we love it. It's just here all the time, whereas our other one kind of flipped up so like you couldn't see it, which is nice in some ways, but it's also kind of nice like this. And then our shower head, I kind of like this one. It's like very modern looking. We actually have not used this shower yet, but at some point we'll use it. I'll let you know how it is. Um, then this is a little fan. How does it open? I haven't really opened this yet. Grayson usually opens it. Okay, so you push this button. It goes up so there's a little fan to get some air going on in here. And then over here is the towel holder. And then this door actually shuts like this and opens back up so it's not a door that swings out and takes up a lot of space. It's kind of nice that you can just shut it. Now let's go into the kitchen area. We did end up adding this little knife holder onto here because it's super convenient to be able to just stick your knives on here. We added this little paper towel holder. There's a couple different things that we added and we'll have everything linked in our Amazon if anyone's interested in buying any of it. And my favorite part about this whole kitchen is this sink. It is literally huge. Like I could give Oreo a bath in here. I haven't yet, but I probably will at some point because it's super big. And then we have a two burner induction cooktop. Usually they come with propane, but since we don't do propane, they were able to switch this out for us. It's not something you can order that way, but if you did want recommendations on what kind of stove or what can fit, let us know and we'll be able to answer those questions for you. And then underneath the stove is actually a microwave and it's nice because I think it's like a convection microwave so you can bake in it. I haven't tried that yet, but we'll try it at some point. And then up here is kind of like a spice rack, I would say mostly, but we've kind of put a couple spices and then the rest are on this wall over here. And then we kind of just have some other random things up here. Oh, and then this is the storage underneath the sink. It's pretty empty. We haven't really put too much in here yet. But we do have like pots and pans, coffee maker, some sweetener, that kind of stuff. And then let me show you the cabinets up here. So as you can tell, we kind of do have a lot of empty space, but over here is where all of our silverware and cookware and measuring cups and that kind of stuff live. Then we have some extra cups that don't fit in the other spot that we'll show you in a second. Blender, and then this is just some like grocery, I mean, staple items that we have. Lots of coffee we have. Literally, I don't, what do you want? Cold brew? You want regular coffee? 
we got it all. Chia seeds, different stuff up there. And the nice thing is that all these cabinets, you click it and they lock so while you're driving, nothing will open, nothing will go anywhere. It's a little toasty in here, so I'm going to open up these windows, give us some air in here. I love these windows, they're the same ones that we had in our other one where you just push these to the side and then you can put this down for a screen and when it's nighttime or you just want your windows closed you can do that or if you just want it to be totally open you can do that also so super nice and they're Love pretty that. much they're pretty much blackout yeah they're pretty much blackout so at nighttime I mean I think they are blackout you really can't see anything and then over here is our Aldi system so this heats the water heats the house when it's cold outside and then this right here just shows us like where our tanks are at, like our black tank, how full it is, our fresh, we're empty when you get water, um, our battery full, gray, it kind of just shows us all that stuff. And then this is how we turn on our water pump when we need to use the water, and then these control the lights that are in the kitchen. So that's super nice. And then we also added these just for some more storage, spices, different things. And then if we move over here, this is our fridge. I'm not sure how big it is, but it does fit everything we need for about a week, so can't complain. There's fridge, a little freezer area. The freezer is not too big, but it fits ice and frozen fruit, kind of just the stuff that we end up using a freezer for. And then we have the other freezer in the back seat, so works out perfectly. And then above our fridge, we have a lot more storage, and it's actually not as full as it looks because everything's in bins to help organize it. This bottom bin literally doesn't even have anything in it. This bin over here has one little thing in it. And then our toiletries kind of just go at the front. So it is nice that we have all this space for anything that needs to find a space. I'm like, he's fine. Okay. Do that. And then underneath the fridge, we keep the majority of our mugs and cups. We're obsessed with these ones. We just got these ones recently. We're obsessed with them. And then under here, I know we said if you watched our organizing video that there were going to be no junk drawers. Um, this has turned into a little bit of a junk drawer, but only for now until we figure out where everything else is going. And that brings you to our dining area. There are seats on each side and there's a lagoon swivel table in the middle. Two people can fit on each side pretty comfortably, we found, if you remove this one pillow. If this pillow is here, it's kind of easier just for one person on each side. But it's nice to have the option for multiple people to be sitting here. And then this actually also goes down. You could put the pillows on top and it will turn into a little bed if you have a guest staying. Or if our dogs ever wanted to sleep down here, but they probably wouldn't because they like sleeping with us. But let's go underneath the table. And under here is actually where the batteries hide underneath this. And then not in this cabinet, but under the cabinet is where the inverter is. And since they raised up the table, they were able to put this stuff underneath. And then in both of these cabinets, there is a lot of storage. Um, you can open it here, and then I'll also show you what it looks like from the top. You can see there's just so much storage in here, which is super nice. And then if you come up here, we have even more storage above the dinette. And we put this greenery here because we thought it was super cute. And then also it's just like a nice way to hide extra little stuff. And, you know, it's not falling out or anything. So that's going to be it for this area. Let's move into the bedroom. And before I show you the rest of the bedroom, I just wanted to show you that there is this TV here, which is actually on a swivel. So if you're sitting over there eating, you can watch TV or you can put it back this way and watch TV while you're in bed. Which is really nice because... I don't know, maybe we'll use it at some point. We don't really watch TV, but it's kind of nice having that option. And then up here is, this is Grayson's side, so this is some of his stuff that he has. We need to do laundry really bad, so there's not that much clothes up there right now. But this is the storage up here, and then there are also storage down here. So as you can tell, there's like a good amount of storage. It goes all the way across, and it opens in two different sections. So lots of storage there. And then back here, there's even more storage for like socks and underwear and that kind of stuff, which is really awesome. And then the same thing on my side, I have the same exact storage, but I also have a little radio over here, which is kind of nice. And there's these cutouts here on both sides so we can put some of our extra stuff. So I have like cables and chargers and that kind of stuff. And then this came with me from the other camper that I just have some more extra stuff. I don't know if it's staying yet because I don't really like how it looks in here. And then on these sides, we did end up adding some 
little places that we could put our hats. Originally we had command hooks and they just kept falling off so we ordered specific ones for hats and it can fit up to eight hats which is great. And yeah, there's lights on both sides. If you press it once, it's blue. If you hold it, it's white. So it's nice at nighttime if you wanna read. You can just put your blue light on and read. And it is a queen size bed, so it's pretty large. And there's also this skylight here. We have Reflectix in right now because it's super hot and it really does help keep the heat out. Um, but yeah, I love it. I mean, there's two windows on both sides, the window on the top, the queen size bed, so much storage. So overall, it's a great bedroom setup and the whole layout of this camper is so nice. A few more things that we didn't mention about this truck camper. I love the colors that they went with inside. The light gray is just so beautiful and it's nice because you can kind of add any kind of colors for a pop that you want since it is so neutral and so beautiful. And I love the lighting in there. It gets so bright since the colors are so light when you turn on those lights at nighttime. It's just super bright in there, which we love. And another few more important things to mention is that the dry weight of the camper is just over 3,000 pounds. I'm not sure what it is loaded. We haven't weighed ourselves yet, um, but we'll let you know in the future how much we end up weighing once it's fully loaded. And then the tank size. The fresh water is 33 gallons, the gray tank is 32 gallons, and then the black tank is 28 gallons. We did our absolute best to go over everything as in-depth as we thought was necessary, but of course there's going to be something we might not have touched on or questions you might have or somebody might have, so just make sure to comment those down below and we'll do our best to answer those questions as best as we can. Yeah, and we just wanted to thank New Camp again so much for having us as ambassadors. We're super excited to be representing and working with a brand that we love so much and we can't wait for all the adventures that we're going to take this new camper and new to us truck on. Starting tomorrow, we're actually leaving Texas and heading to one of our favorite states and we just couldn't be more thrilled to be bringing you guys along for it. So if you did like this video, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the bell to be notified when we post next and we'll see you in the next video. Till next time, y'all. Peace <laughs> out.